Hello everyone, it's Sharla. Amanda. And we're here for Wednesday, Onesie Wednesday. And the one that we dressed for today is our little Betsy. Betsy Sage, and she is dressed in her little pink cotton headband trimmed in brown. And she's holding on to piglet while she sleeps. How sweet is that? And she's got on a Hello Kitty onesie in this cool turquoise blue pacifier. It's really pretty. And, and she's got on her little pacifier clip that Cinderella's carriage that her auntie Kimberly Window made. And oh, she's even holding on to that. She loves to hold on to things. Look at that pretty little fingernails. And then she has on a diaper cover. It's the one that we got from her Aunt Kim, Kim Brown, Miss Kamiza. And I tell you, do I love these diaper covers. They are so soft and they fit so tight. And when you hold the baby, you just feel, it feels so much more like a real baby. I, I don't know how to describe it to you, but they are wonderful. Well, thank you, Kim. I love these. And she's got her little feet bare because it's about seven. It's almost night time here. So we thought we'd just let her sleep in her onesie tonight. And little Betsy is just looking angelic there laying there with her onesie. Huh, Linda? Mm -hmm. We've been going shopping in our own closet. <laughs> Lindsay found... Uh, Lindsay, why do I keep saying that? I don't know. Linda, I'm calling you the wrong name. <laughs> Linda found our Hello Body... Hello Bi Hello Dolly. Forget it. I'm just... I don't know what's wrong with me now. Hello Kitty onesie. Excuse me, guys. I guess I'm just tired. She found the Hello Kitty onesie. And... We're just trying to use some things that we don't normally use, like this cool headband that we've never used and this cool pacifier that we've never used. I love these cotton headbands. They don't slip around. Look at that beautiful hair. And in real life, these eyes do not look like this. Like I'm looking at her right now, not in the camera, and it's, it's not red. But when you turn that light on, boom, it brings out some red. So I... I don't mind it though because she's just beautiful and she doesn't look like that in person. I love her little fingers. And she's got on a little bracelet there, Aunt Linda made her. So she's got a lot of auntie stuff on here, doesn't she, Linda? Uh -huh. Oh, we're so happy with this these diaper covers. We just love them. They're absolutely darling. They are. Um I wanted to talk to y'all just a minute about internet safety. Uh, I got a little careless and gave my number out, not my number, my um, email address to somebody that I didn't even know. And it brought me, brought it to my attention later on when someone said, don't ever give your number or your address out, even though you have P.O. Box with somebody that you don't know. So I thought about that, and I thought, you know what? The last time that I, I think I did an uh, internet safety video, Linda, was when Laura was alive. I think so. And then Laura had that man come talk to us, that policeman or something. But, you know, there is so many children on Instagram that it worries me sometimes because if you were a predator, wouldn't you go where you knew there would be a lot of kids? And they're on there and I sure hope that their parents have talked to them about internet safety kids if you're listening don't give your name or your address or your phone number out to anyone even if you've talked to them on the internet for a long time don't do it because there are people out there that will might come to your house or look you up and we just don't want that. We don't want them to know where you live. It's very important as parents that we teach our children because I'm telling you, there are tons of kids on the internet, on YouTube and on Instagram, especially Instagram's where I'm seeing it. 
and I don't want to have that much interaction with children um, simply because they're children and they need to be doing things besides staying on the internet and they need to be outside playing, getting fresh air, spending time with their parents, doing their homework. So I am not going to talk to kids for a long time on the internet and I, I don't think it's a good idea. Not that I don't love children, I do. It's just that it has gotten out of hand and parents need to spend time with their children. These devices are not babysitters, folks. If electronics are raising the kids, what are they gonna be like when they need to take control of our world? Are they gonna have compassion? They're definitely not gonna have social skills. And there's already a syndrome from kids that stay on their phones all the time and hold their heads down. It's causing musculoskeletal problems. And it's a syndrome caused from cell phones. If you have kids, take them outside and let them get some fresh air. I mean, it's it's a, it's great that we have technology, but it's not a babysitter. And kids, y'all need to be careful about who you talk to on here. It's just not safe. If you're in the reborn community, don't think everybody's good. Don't think everybody's safe. Do not give your address or phone number out to anybody on YouTube or anyone in the reborn community. They could harm you. And we don't want that. It happens every day. Like I made the mistake to do. You just don't do it. We've all been taught. I got careless and I don't want y'all to get careless. But it's going to be up to the people in the reborn community to maybe reinforce this. Maybe if they hear it enough and we hear it enough, we'll be more careful. So if you want to put it in a video, it'd be great because um, our children are our future. And... They've dumbed down. Our kids are dumbed down because we're not. our education is not good, public school like it used to be. They'll tell you they tested high on the test and they're number one in the district. Well, you know what? Yeah, they spent two weeks before the test test trying to learn how to pass the test. The teachers are a wreck because all they want to do is pass that test. So they help them study for it. It doesn't mean the school's excellent. It means they had excellent study skills two weeks before. That's why we send our, our children to Christian school because my granddaughter is learning about Jesus, how to pray, and social skills, etiquette. And if you can't send them to, to private school, it's up to you to teach them. Who do you think is going to teach them about internet safety if not your parents? And about etiquette, about the Lord, whatever your belief is. These things are what we've been taught by our parents. And we need to be teaching our kids. Time goes by fast. I've raised a child. I've got a grandchild that's 13 right now. They are the most important thing in the world, our children. But we must take care of them. We've got to teach them. They don't learn if we don't teach them. You know, kids don't even know how to set a proper table anymore. They don't even know how to sit at the table sit up, eat, they don't know how, dining etiquette, oh my, my daughter knew how to do that when she was very small, and when we went out to eat, she knew how to eat, um, and we do not turn our cell phones onto the table, is there ever a sacred time where we can say, turn the phones off, is there ever a time that you just sit in silence and contemplate or pray, or do we have to have these electronics in our hand and be staring at them all the time. Quite offensive to me. If I'm gonna meet somebody for a meal, I don't want their phone going off all the time. I find it offensive. If you can't spend 30 minutes with a friend or 30 minutes with a family meal without any buzzing or, or, or you know, texting, then something is wrong. I'm sorry for the rant, but I swear to you that this is true. Kids need to dine with their parents. That's when you can talk and learn more about each other. When do you parents spend time with your kids if they're if you don't spend time with them when you eat? And how much time are you spending with them? That's what I want to know. How much one-on-one -on -one time do you spend with your child? 
each day. I think sometimes that we take better care of our reborns than people take care of their own children. Seems they're rather bored with them and just want the computer or the phone to babysit. It's very sad and I don't like to see it happening because kids are something to, to treasure and, and to teach the ways of the Lord and to teach how to act and to teach manners and compassion. Are we going to be raised in a socialist community where all they do is answer a question and not even yes ma'am or no ma'am? Oh, please. I'm glad I still have Southern values because the way the world is right now, I don't know how it's going to be in 30 years, but it looks to me like kids will even forget to talk because they're not going to be talking much. They'll just text. Oh, sorry about the rant, but I just am so disillusioned with parents. Just because you have a baby doesn't mean you should have one. There are so many people out here that are bad parents. If you're not a good parent just because you take your kids to the movie, buy them the newest iPhone, or the prettiest clothes, that does not make a parent. You're a parent if you hold your child, you teach your child, you read to your child, you you do things with your child. That, that makes a good parent. And lead by example. And don't answer your cell phone at the table. Take time out for family life. Spend as much time with your real kids as you do your babies. I've already raised my daughter. And now I can play with my little sweetie pie here. Which I love her with all my heart. She is a beautiful skull. And she's got a mouse that she holds, but I've got to get it sent off to Michelle to get it clean. And I'll do that soon, Michelle. I keep forgetting. So happy Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday to everybody. Um, sorry if I ranted, but to me, children are the most important thing in the world. And if you don't have time for them, then it's very sad. And you better think about it before you have one. Because the world is not like it used to be. Public school education is not like it used to be. They're not going to be able to say boy or girl anymore. You can't pray. And there's no Christian beliefs put in there. So you're going to have to work doubly hard because you're not going to have reinforcement from the school. So you better think twice before you take on a commitment. So here's the sweetie. I'm going to tell you good night for tonight. God bless. Pray about our country and the state of our uh, constitution and our amendments and et cetera, et cetera, our financial situation. Just please pray for America. God bless you. Bye-bye.